Um, anyways, so I just got my first two leads and had two, what I thought were really, can y'all hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Okay. Um, I thought they, the conversations went well, even though I made a couple of mistakes. Um, but basically the first one is a house in Norwich, Connecticut, and the owner, Julie, her, she wants to sell the house. She owes nothing on the house. She owns it free and clear. They bought it last year for like, I don't know, 50K, um, put in some work into it. And now um, her and her partner are splitting up. So they want to get out of the house as soon as possible. They owe $3,200 annually in taxes. So they just don't have any payments. Um, it needs electrical. It needs a new front porch and it needs a new boiler. She, I, she told me that the, her bottom line price is 65k. I think I could talk her a little bit lower. Um, running the numbers, and again, I'm a realtor in Houston, Texas. I typically just run numbers in Texas. I'm not familiar with running numbers anywhere else. So um, the ARV that I got was 112. I am not sure if that's completely right, but that's what I got doing the research that I did. And so she wants. She said 65K, it needs those three major items. Um, yeah. she, she's never going to get 65K for that. <laughs> nope. Okay. She's dreaming. Okay. So take your ARV, 60% mm -hmm. minus repairs, right? Mm -hmm. And that would be your maximum allowable offer, MAO, your MAO, right? And yeah. uh, you need to be under there if you're going to wholesale it. Okay. Unless you get it with 100% seller financing, subject to or whatever. Yeah, and she doesn't pay a little want bit to do more. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't want to do that. No, you're, you've, she got, yeah, you've got a, a suspect there, not a prospect. Not even suspect. She's just smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> she's, well, she's not on the same planet. I have so much to learn. I have hey, a lot this, to learn. This is how you do it. This is how you learn. You learn by doing. That's the whole point here. Well, we have the ask me anything calls on Tuesday, yeah. Thursday. So yeah, mm -hmm. you're nothing good. you can't ask. Well, yeah, I was good. just happy that she was nice. Answer. She, I was just happy that she was nice and took my call and didn't hang up on me. So right? my goal was achieved. There you go. That's it. That's great. Uh, okay, so for her, so for her, basically, I need to get the mayo and and talk real numbers with her and see if she'll come way down i mean the, the best way to get somebody to come down is to just tell them oh, look i can't do that price are you sure that's the best you can do and put it back on them to give you a better number if she comes down a little bit well, you're heading in the right direction and then shut up mm -hmm. okay use silence as a weapon get them to negotiate against themselves if you throw out a number, she's just going to bark at it. And maybe a few weeks later, she'll come to her senses. But Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I did the thing about, I followed the script, you know, I didn't, I let her do all the talking and she did a lot of talking. <laughs> okay. Um, I think How long she, did, were you on the phone with her? I think like 37 minutes. She was, it was oh. a lot. Too long. Yeah, it was a lot. Doesn't need to go that long. I, if they start, uh, okay. you know, rambling on and telling you all about their house and the country music song life, you know, all that sort of thing, just cut them off. Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that and get right back to the script. That's how you do it. Just cut them off. Okay. Okay. Good to know. They'll, they'll thank okay, you for so it. the second one. Okay. Well, I didn't know how to end it. Um, because, you know, I really wasn't quite sure. I said I was going to get back to her. She wanted to talk to her husband because she said, what do you do? And I said, well, we make you an offer and we buy your house, basically. Um, because she didn't want to do terms yeah. or any kind of financing. She said, yeah, I really just want cash. And I said, okay. So she said, I want to talk to my husband and see, you know, if he's willing to look at some paperwork. That's how we left yeah. it. So... Yeah, that's fine. I think if you uh, if you wanted to call her back, you just run the 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 closing call script again. 
Uh-huh. And I would run the owner financing closing call. You said she owns a free and clear, right? Yep. And she's going to balk at it because she doesn't want terms and just tell her, look, this is the best we can do here. So I'm sorry okay. it's not going to work out. And then be and prepared to walk. To yeah. You just, you got to just hold your head high, Danielle, and just say, here's what it is. And that's it. Adios. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you.